Okay, so here's my next project. I've showed you guys my furnace that I'm going to put in here to heat the garage. Came out of my son's house, got it for free. <laughs> I'm all about that. Isn't that funny how everything becomes a table? Drives me crazy. Everything becomes a table. So it's going over here in this corner. So I finished this corner of the garage before it stopped about where that box is, is where I stopped. And so Saturday I uh, decided to finish it. So I moved everything over away from the wall, did the drywall, painted it, framed that door out. Uh, my gas line used to come up, come across at an angle come over this is the drop for the barbecuer and then it it carried on across up there and I had a infrared heater mounted right here above the bench and you know it I never really tried it with the sheetrock and insulation so I don't know how well it did how well it would have done but the way it was it just would heat this one you know where my bench was but I took that down, finished it all up, got it all painted. This is what's really weird, <laughs> is this entrance. Uh, when we bought this house, I remodeled it, and we bumped that out into the garage and did a new entrance, and that was a new door, but it had never been painted and taped, and now that it's all done, it kind of freaks me out. But anyway... Uh, what I'm going to work on now is I this furnace needs to sit 18 inches above the ground. So I'm going to build a little platform that sits in that corner so I can raise it up 18 inches off the ground. So I'm going to get started on that and I'll show you the different stages of that as I go along. Okay. So is it just me or is everybody when you go to do a project you got to get every single tool you own out to do just a simple little project <laughs> okay so I'm gonna take some measurements let's see what it looks like over here all right let me move some stuff I got stuff all right so my platform it's got to be at least 30 and at least 22. So I'm going to make a 30, a 30 by 22 platform that's going to fit. It's going to fit in this corner. I'm going to make it out of a 2 by 4 Hopefully one's enough. Let's see where that puts us. So 30 by 22. So that's going to fill that corner right up. So what I'm going to do is I'll take some measurements and uh, we'll build the frame first and then uh, put the top on it. So let me get that frame built and I'll show you how I constructed it. Unbelievable. Okay, so there's my frame. 22 by 30. So the one thing I've got to do now is I've got to cut a leg, a 4x4, four four, 18 inches high. So I'm going to do that next. Hopefully, I'll change this here and I'll go grab it and I'll show you how you cut it on a...
So this isn't a very big saw, so I'm going to have to do it a couple times. So let me stir up the end. Oh wow, it cut it. I didn't think it had cut it. Four by four. All right, where did I put my pen? Okay, so if I come down here and I measure eighteen, oh, wait a minute, this is the end I squared out. Well, let's square this one up because I got a big knot I want to miss. Okay, now let's measure eighteen. Oh, perfect. So take my drill Going into a knot.
Okay. So it's going to be held on three sides by the So it'll be held on three sides by the uh, wall. So now all I got to do is level it and then find the studs and screw it to the wall. And I almost think, I almost think that there's a rim joist there. Yeah, that. So let me grab my level. Because I think when I built the house, the floor is up that high. That's about the height of the floor inside. So. See if we hit anything. Yeah, that's solid. Tell you, pre drilling this first 2x4 makes all the difference. Okay. So I'm going to try and see if I can hit. I got a suspicion that there's a stud right there order the way this was framed. So we'll see. Yes, sir. Right into it. Right into it. Not bad. Now I think, I think I should be able to stand on that. Eleven and a quarter. So, if we go in right there, we might hit that stud. We did. Just because I'm anal about it. All right, let's measure eighteen inches. So there's my platform for my furnace. So now I've got a piece of uh, board here 
that I will cut and put on top of that. So I've got to get my table saw out, table saw out to do that. So I'll bring you back when uh, when I'm getting ready to do that. Okay, there's my table saw. Let me grab the piece. I've got to freehand it. The wall's crooked. So I'm gonna free. That's crooked too. So I'll free air that. Way. Okay, so I'm wearing safety glasses, if you guys are wondering, but there it is, nice fit, I'll pre-drill that, pre -drill that, put some two inch screws in it, and then the next time you guys see it, it'll have the furnace sitting on top of it, so I'll be back. Okay, so there's it, we're a little over 18 inches off the ground, supported well. My gas line is perfect for a gas. It's right there. Run it in and my wiring's up there. I need to run a piece of half inch conduit down the wall with my thermostat. And then we just need to get a duct through the roof up there. And we're good. Okay. So there it is, folks. One more thing in its place. Okay, so there it is. Gas lines ran. Electrical is right there with the thermostat. Just need to get it down here into a box with an on-off switch. And then get a piece of ducting it'll go up and then I haven't decided if I'm gonna run it across and have multiple 
or just have one shoot out in the corner. Uh, have to do some checking and see what I can get. But uh, I'm excited. This thing's coming on. I'll be able to work out here. I could live out here almost. But there it is. There's the old girl. Just begging to be worked on again. We're getting close. Okay. So. I was showing you through these other videos the furnace. And this is what I've got. So. There's the furnace. I put the. They call that the, uh, oh my gosh, what do they call that? Anyway, that's a piece of ducting. Okay, so I built the platform 18 inches off the ground, set the furnace on it, got my gas line down to it, got my electrical. Okay, and then I came out of the furnace, the, uh, I forget what they call it anyway, and instead of just putting vents in that, I decided I'd go for an industrial look and I ducted a six inch pipe all the way around the front and the side of the garage and then I put vents in it and that's how you put a furnace in a garage. Now I talked to some professional HVAC guys and they says you got to be the burner has got to be 18 inches off the ground so technically I don't know why because here's the the burners clear up here or well actually it's about up here is the combustion chambers right about here so anyway I did what they told me to do I raised it up 18 inches off the ground that platform is screwed to the wall. It's made out of two by fours. It's pretty sturdy. I uh, anchored the the flue or the duct, whatever you want to call it, to the wall. Made it nice and sturdy. Okay, so the only thing I got left, and I would have done that today, but it's raining outside, is to do the exhaust and it's just going to go straight up out of the ceiling through the roof we use what they call a V-pipe it's double walled got this special bracket that gives you your spacing I'll be putting that in. There's the roof jack and the vent for up on the roof. So cool. So the projects that are left in the garage, I have been working on other things in here, but the projects left is to insulate the door and insulate the attic. I haven't done that yet. So those are the two things that are left in the and the flue. And I was gonna wait until I had my exhaust flue in before I uh, messed with the uh, insulation, so that I didn't have to deal with that if I have to get up there and and put it up there. So anyway, just like every job, you got to get every single tool you own <laughs> out. Uh, but anyway, I don't know. If I'd have thought ahead, I, well, I didn't know I was getting the furnace. I mean, I could have put all this up in the ceiling and you wouldn't see it. But I think it kind of looks kind of cool having the, uh, having the furnace there and then having that duct. I think that looks kind of awesome. But... We'll do another tour of the garage once it's all done and uh, of course you know you start working in them and you got to get things out but 
anyway, that's how I that's how I installed the furnace in the garage. So I, I got that furnace out of my son's house. He got a new one. He just gave that to me. It's uh, 80 plus, so it's a pretty efficient. Uh, there's my electrical on off switch that's my off switch for the gas uh, it's flexed into the furnace I think I'm gonna put a piece of expanded metal over the filter to kind of protect it but that's it till next time okay so I don't know if I showed you guys but here's the furnace all complete got the vent in I took and put the plenum up took six inch, six inch pipe ran it down along the edge and put in these diffusers kinda cool to have heat in your garage can't believe how stressed I was cutting the hole in my roof for the vent that it's in painted so looking kind of good anyway I still got some organizing to do here in the garage but window still got to do that but for all intents and purposes it's done I've got to insulate the attic gonna do that here it's today's Thursday we're gonna try to do it Monday morning but just go up through there and spray some insulation up there but yeah kinda cool kinda cool so it's time to get back on the old Ford so I think I'm gonna work on that for a little bit I'll bring you guys in and show you what I'm doing but the garage is done furnace is installed <laughs>